By the way, for anybody watching, I literally you could teach this at a press class. I you, what you should see what I just did. I move the interview into a topic I know nothing about being sports. <laughs> So this is what you don't do in an interview, full disclosure. You might be familiar with the toys that made us, the movies that made us, Biker Mice from Mars, and RoboForce action figures, all from the Nacelle Company. And I'm here today to chat with the head of Nacelle Company, Mr. Brian Volkweiss. Hello, how you doing? Hey, thank you for hanging out today. Um, how, How's everything going? Busy, but good. And I d d definitely remember the beginning of my career when things were not busy. Uh, so I am not complaining, sir. That's, that's, that's a good idea. You want, you want things to, uh, keep happening until much later on in life, but I want to say, uh, congrats on your most recent comic book endeavor. I thought that was pretty cool. The, uh, the aliens. It's the, the what yeah, if man. it's, I, I know we were just talking about this. I mean, uh, of all the surreal things that are happening now, like, like, dude, it's like I didn't think anything could get more surreal than Biker Mice. Then Expanse happens. Then uh, I'm involved with creating a comic book based on aliens. Like, it, 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 it's so cliche. It's so cliche. I keep looking for a better way to say it, but mm -hmm. like, it feels like a dream. Like, it, it just feels like a like a dream. It's 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 so weird, well, yeah, good, I mean, <laughs> but still weird. Well, I'm going to circle back to that at the end and see uh, what else is on your, uh, you know, maybe checklist of things that hasn't been, you know, accomplished at uh, on your on your maybe Mount Everest of uh, of accomplishments. OK, uh, but you did mention quickly uh, right there. The Expanse Kickstarter. The Expanse Kickstarter is live now. Always preface this for Kickstarters um, if you're interested. Back it now because you don't get charged immediately. It adds to uh, you know all of the unlocks and everything towards the goal. So people, it just builds a sense of um, of reality. More people want to get in, and of course, okay. you don't get charged until the project is completed and funded. Uh, there's 24 days left from time of recording, uh, but it will be. It says this project will only be funded if it reaches its goal by Friday. April 5th, 2024 at 259 Eastern Time AM. So midnight. Midnight on the West Coast. And you're currently halfway of the two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar goal. Yeah, we're we're right around. I, my math is bad. I literally failed algebra three times, but not a that's not a metaphor. Um, but uh yeah, I think we're around 60%. We broke one third and fifty percent in the same day, and it just it just keeps trickling in. Um, it's it's been it's been beautiful. The the fans of the expanse, and I'm one of them, by the way. I mean, the this whole right. thing happened because I'm just a nutcase for many things, by the way, many, many, many things. Um, but that many things includes the expanse. So yeah, it's it's a beautiful thing to be a part of this community. But you're right. Like, it's funny. I've never done a Kickstarter before. Neither is the company. So mm -hmm. we normally just do all this on our own DTC. But the, the thing that happened is everybody was like, oh, it's the expanse. You got to do Kickstarter. You got to do Kickstarter. So I was like, all right, we'll do Kickstarter. And everybody's like, you make a third your first two days and you make a third your last two days. And right. if that's true, we're doing great. We're going to crush the number. But to your point, and I agree with you completely, um, like back it now, because what I, I and again, I'm as biased as it gets. So take back it now with the biggest grain of salt possible. <laughs> but. I want to make all the extra stuff. Like I want to make the cucumber sandwiches for Bobby. Like I, I all the extra stuff, the wrap gift, which by the way, that's mod literally modeled. I have every single wrap gift from every season of the expanse. So oh, wow. we wanted to do something. One of which by the way is a suitcase. Um, but we wanted to do something special. So I'm sitting there, I go home, I look at my collection and I'm like, cause I got some props at the props works auction. So, um, or the heritage auction. So I really wanted to do something special 
and I'm looking at my collection and I'm like, the wrap gift. Let's make right. replica wrap gifts. And that's what we're doing. But I want to make it. And unless we hit all these numbers, we don't get to make it. And we got some pretty cool stuff, some surprises hanging out there too. So please awesome. back it. Don't wait till the end. Um, you know, Yem saying all that good stuff. But I, I promise you, these things are going to be gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous figures. Let me know if I'm getting this wrong. You can pre-order, you can back uh, select characters, or there's also the option to do the eight pack. That's right. And there's also an eight pack with the uh, wrap gift replica that you mentioned. Um, so it's really cool to see this kind of um, this kind of strategy. Um, but that was one of my questions. Like you mentioned, this is your first Kickstarter. Have you seen? And you mentioned like, oh, it's expanse. You know, we should do Kickstarter. Is there um, something more advantageous to that in this instance? So, it, you know, again, when you're, you know, it's funny when you're like at a company, people are always like, oh, you're at a company. It's getting bigger and bigger and doing more and more things. And, you know, you surely must know what you're doing. Uh, uh, that is not the case. So sometimes you just have to trust people. Sometimes you just have to talk to experts and hope they're right. So what we were told, and I now know for a fact that they were right, and I'm glad I followed their guidance, but what Kickstarter does is it comes in with built-in infrastructure that people are comfortable with. So like, for example, you know, we put out sectors, you know, we put out wave one of sectors, wave one of Garlu, wave one of biker mice from Mars. You, you don't really it doesn't necessarily make sense to use Kickstarter for those because mm -hmm. there really isn't a community for those lines that are quote unquote used to Kickstarter. So the beautiful thing about the expanse is because of the comic book, because of the giant Rosinante, um, which by the way, again, just to make my point that I'm an idiot who hasn't used Kickstarter, I have that Rosinante, but I got it on eBay like two months after it, you know, came out. So like, that's, that's my way of doing it. But in this case, quote unquote, my way of doing it, I, I just didn't think was the best way to do it. And, and by the way, if you and I were talking before we launched, I'd be like, I don't know. I hope they're right. But <laughs> you know, it's been almost two weeks and I know they were right. So I'm glad that okay. we did. Yeah. Because I remember uh, when we spoke in New York, you were mentioning how uh, the biker mice stuff kind of uh, really kind of took off at an unexpected rate too. So it's interesting to see uh, a different approach for something. And, like and it's not slowing down, like with biker mice. Like that's the crazy thing. So it's funny. I said that to you in New York. What mm -hmm. was that? November. S -s September, October, I think maybe. I don't know. I, I just remember it was pouring and I had to do something I haven't done since summer camp. Did you have to do anything like this? I literally had to take a garbage bag I got from the hotel and cut all arm holes and a head hole and made like a poncho. That's that's my strongest memory of New York Comic Con 2023. But anyway, um, my point is... Um, I bet when I said that to you about biker mice and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe how well it's doing. Mm -hmm. I bet you were probably three to five times now daily what we were doing back then daily. I, I knew biker mice had a following. I knew they were passionate. Mm -hmm. I did not realize it was this big. Sometimes like as a geek, you think it's just you. Right. But apparently, especially with biker, by the way, we've done a couple things over the years. It really was just me. Um, <laughs> but uh, biker mice was not. Biker mice was not. You never That's know. Cool. Like you literally never know. You never know what what's gonna pop. That or sometimes it's way, the opposite. Oh, it's always the opposite. It's yeah. always like where I'm like, this is a sure thing, guaranteed mm -hmm. home run. It's a walk to first. <laughs> and then I'll be like, you know, we'll do this. I'm just going to do this for me. No one else cares. And then it's a grand slam RBI. I'm not a sports guy, so please don't make fun of me for my metaphors. But if there's such a thing called a grand slam RBI, those happen too. And half the time it's because you just went with your heart. 
I'll post some uh, baseball analogies oh, off good. to the side or or uh, Wikipedia references. I, I could use them. There's uh there's a lot of really cool unlocks on here, and uh, obviously hearing from you, uh, you're you're a huge fan of the Expanse, and uh, we did a, get a question from Toy Farce. I don't know if you've seen some of Toy Farce's. Uh, I love Toy Farce. Uh, yeah, <laughs> perfect, Very perfect. Uh, they're asking, you know, if or when the Kickstarter is successful, do you have plans for other waves? I have to assume that, you know, you want to focus on now, but. No, I'm no. never. I'm. Oh, I'm. Who, to, to, I'm with Toy Farce. That's that's the way my brain works. Yes, one word, peaches. Uh, they're uh, they're. Oh, listen, man. If I could do ten waves, I would do ten waves. I mean, it. By the way, Ava Savara alone. Uh, you know, every episode had a brand new wardrobe, like a brand new complete wardrobe. We could do ten of her. We could do fifty of her. But no, there are so many, and you know, one of the, like, for example, just to pick the most ridiculous, obscure thing I could think of, there's an Expanse episode that opens with the the guy who act, basically, on purpose, yet accidentally, I don't want to do any spoilers, creates the engines that power the entire Expanse universe. It's like a 10-minute scene, and you never see him again. But his last name was Epstein, and the engines in the Expanse are called um, the Epstein Drive. Okay. Even though it's one episode for 10 minutes, yeah, I want to make Epstein. So, But that would be like wave 11. Like, <laughs> yeah, and that would probably literally just be for me. Well, all the best on this Kickstarter again. There's 24 days left if today is March 11th. Uh, but you have until April 5th. And again, uh, if you back it early, it helps reach uh, the unlocks. And then once there's more unlocks, people will see, they, oh, we're already going to get this. If they're already on the fence, those people are going to jump in. Hopefully it's a domino effect and everyone, and by everyone, I mean Brian gets the toys that he wants. I want to make the chair. Like I want to do a huge nationwide ad campaign called, I want to make the chair. Like I'm five years old. So let's unlock the chair. You, you mentioned being dabbling in a lot of different spaces. Uh, you also have a partnership going on right now with Walmart for the Nacelle movies that made us. And um, there's going to be your own dedicated spot in Walmart. Uh, they're, they're there right now uh, in almost 25. Actually, no, I think more. There's about 4,000 Walmarts nationwide, including Canada. There you go, Toronto. See, I pronounced it right for you. Toronto, the O is silent. Um, but um, they uh, basically, it, it, in U.S. and Canada, there's about 4,000 Walmarts. And we did this deal. It was between us, Netflix, Walmart, and Culturefly. And we brought everything together. By the way, we ended up with this plan. I pitched, my initial pitch was very different. Um, but this is what we ended up with. And I, as usual in life, I would argue exponentially better than what I had initially pitched. So what it really is, is it's a celebration of the movies that made us. And also, you know, Culture Fly makes these phenomenal products, the likes of which you're showing now. And it's, it's a celebration of iconic films that are also of a genre nature. So it's a high it's high quality. The prices, in my opinion, are pretty reasonable. And Walmart, I've never worked with Walmart before. Okay. Um, I, I've had no better experience in my career. It's just so interesting how that company works. I've never met a company that cares more about the customers and their experience. And again, I know I might look like a hack being like, oh, I love Walmart, but <laughs> I, I, I don't have to say that. I, I could just keep it to myself and not go there. But it's between what we're selling and Walmart, and obviously Walmart being Walmart, they're everywhere. I right. think we're bringing something pretty cool to everybody. And, you know, again, one of the things where I know if I'm like, like telling the truth or if I'm full of it, I mean, I've bought some of this stuff. I bought some of this stuff before it was even for sale using my own money. So I, if that doesn't tell you I believe in it, I, I don't know. In a capitalistic society, I don't know what else would. 
Uh, it's it's cool to see because again, when, with something like this, you mentioned uh, collaboration with all these companies uh, to finally have it out. I'm sure it took like uh, a lot a lot of work to get everyone on board. Like you said, it's not your original vision, but you you came to something and now it's on shelves. So that's something to be applauded for. Um, it includes titles like Jurassic Park, Ghostbusters, Back to the Future, Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, Friday the Thirteenth, and Child's Play. These what we have on the screen right now are these book nooks but they're just nook they're nooks because you can put them between books you can put them on your dvd shelf which kind of fits in with uh with the movie theme right if, that, you, if you still collect uh physical media um oh and it comes with a free rental uh oh. vimeo so anytime you buy any of these things you get a free vimeo rental and you can watch like if you bought the jurassic park thing you could get jurassic park you could do whatever you want but the point is we're trying to just really push these iconic films that like made me. I mean, it's literally the movies that made us, you know, that's the spinoff right. toys that made us. And of course, being the director and everything, I chose the toys and the movies that made me. So that's, that's exactly what we're trying to do here with this, except we, we were able to partner with the biggest company on earth. Super cool. So you have the, the nooks, you also have these kind of, um, multi-dimensional uh, art pieces for the different uh, movie movie right. covers. Uh, like we mentioned, NBX, Lion King, which is a, a classic, one of my favorites. The Batman is really interesting. It's not a nook. It's these really cool part. My favorite thing about it, I don't know if you have this or not, is the case. It comes in this really, really cool case um, that basically it's like a big house that all the, there you go, that all the characters are in. And then the idea is that you have all the characters, not all, but you know what I mean? You have all the important characters and you can do whatever you want for them. You know, this is for kids. Yeah, this is a great looking set. And it, you know, just reminds me of like simpler toys from when you were kids. Yeah. Uh, and do you have the airplane pillow. Yeah, we have this plot, you know, the movie airplane. Mm. Uh, it's a plush uh, from airplane of an airplane. That's um, and this is all culture fly. Like we were very lucky to get a partner that it's like they're as geeky as we are. Like they're real geeks, just like us. But they they've just got this great imagination, and they just come up with all these great ideas, and then they can implement. So you can see all the stuff we're selling. For the most part, the quality is very high, but it's also very different things. And that's it. I don't know how they come up with all these ideas, but I, I mean, again, I know I had it in. I know I saw stuff before it was public, but yeah, I used my own money to buy half of that stuff. No, it's running for another two months. So yeah, and it's doing great. I mean, it's absolutely doing, uh, to, it's doing better than ex, the, the highest expectation. Mm -hmm. It is beaten that level. You, you it's mentioned another Grand Slam RBI. Did I make uh, that? Or is that a real thing? How many RBIs do you get for a Grand Slam? Well, my understanding is a Grand Slam is where you hit the ball and you you everybody's ahead of you and everybody comes in, right? Yes. Isn't that an RBI? You get four RBIs because you score oh, okay. yourself and everyone on base from the movies that made us being in stores at Walmart. Um, you know, there's also the toys that made us. That's right. What is it like? We've only been making toys for two years. Mm -hmm. So even now, two years later, and by the way, it hasn't even been two years with RoboForce. RoboForce came out in June of 22. Oh, so 18 months later, I'm already looking back on what we did for RoboForce. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, my God. That was so stupid. That was like, I, I want to kill like the artwork on the packages. That was all me. That was a hundred percent my idea. There are these water. Um, like when you go to the store, they have these things called boxed water and they're like black and white packaging. And I always thought that was brilliant because mm -hmm. when you go to the drink section, you know, you got Snapple, Coke, Pepsi, everything. And I always thought it was so brilliant to have these black and white packages. So that was all me. I was like, black and white packages. We got to do that. Box water. Box water. They're so brilliant. 
Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've ever heard of this company called Funko, and they make this product called Pops. Mm -hmm. Well, they also apparently are a big fan of boxed uh, water, and uh, but they have a 25 year head start on us. So, <laughs> like, so I look at decisions I was making only 18 months ago, and I'm like, oh my god, that's so bad. So, if anything can show you, like, just how surreal all this is. Like, that's it. Like, even 18 months later, I can look at what we were doing and be like, why do we do that? Well, now you are on to uh, the bike, biker mice, like you mentioned there. Um, yes. They're, they've arrived and they're starting to ship. Um, tying it back to some TV stuff real quick. Ryan Reynolds to co-produce Nacelle's Biker Mice from Mars animated series. Do you have right. like a minute or two to talk about how that came about? Yeah, it's, you know, it's funny the it's such a cliche and i don't think it's just hollywood but it's it's not what you know it's who you know that's like a okay. real cliche so i had worked with an executive who ended up going to ryan reynolds company and he and i were talking one day we had put out the announcement that we had acquired the copyright to biker mice okay and he had seen it and one day he and i were talking and he was like man not only am I a huge Biker Mice fan, Ryan is also a huge Biker Mice fan. No way. And, and that's, that's how we started it. We did a couple Zooms. Everything was great. Everything was cool. And then the paperwork started moving around. It took uh, 19 years and, uh, and a century to get it done. Uh, but we got it done uh, right before San Diego Comic-Con last year. And we have the rock attached to RoboForce. And that's the idea that we're bringing back these brands that, you know, you know, I'm almost 48, you know, these, these brands like made my childhood, you know, I had such a great childhood and mm -hmm. I really, listen, I'm not going to sit here and be like, my childhood was great because of robo force, but I mean, that would really, to a certain degree, be true as it relates to biker mice, like biker mm -hmm. mice had a huge effect on me. I was always a biker mice guy, more so than even turtles. So to, to be able to work on these shows with people like Dwayne, uh, The Rock, and, and Ryan Reynolds, I, I mean, again, it's cliched, but it's true. I, I cannot believe this is happening. Um, again, that's that's why uh, I'm excited to chat with you today because, you know, the ability to to do all of these different things that, that – um, that I enjoy. It's it's super cool, uh, super cool to see what Nacelle's doing uh, with you. You know, at at the lead here, are the uh, biker mice figures. Again, um, I've seen I've seen some on Instagram uh, already for for the the three main figures. Um, you know, if you look back, if you look back on RoboForce, and you said there's so many things you you would do differently. <laughs> now that these are hitting, is there anything here yet, or you know, we're just uh, we're still waiting for the bikes. And, you know and well, you know what's funny, man, is what I love about video. This just came in today. So this is uh, this is the the prototype, uh, actually the third prototype. You know, we did a little smoke thing here that holds, you know, so you can hold it up. Uh, it doesn't have a battery, but you see the lights there on the controls, right? Those light up. The headlight lights up. This literally came about three hours ago. So the bikes, they're in production. Um, the first three figures got here. I, if you care, I can run over there and get Limburger, the proto. Um, but sure. we, yeah, okay. I'm glad sure. you took me up on that. That's what we're here for. Yeah, so I mean, the fact that, I mean, the, again, I feel like I'm lying to you. Even though I'm holding this, like I literally feel like I'm lying to you. So we got Limburger, got that coming off. Boom. And then, if you wow. don't like all his teeth hanging out, so three heads, boom. Nice, three heads. Boom. I always get weird when he's doing these interviews, what's up and down. We got the fake mask there. Oops. That he holds. Mm-hmm. We got the cane and Limburger. I mean, I hope I'm stating the obvious, but, um, you know, we had the cartoon in, you know, it's being written right now. And 
yeah, Limburger, uh, to say he's a major character would be the understatement of the millennium. And he was always like, I always love Dr. Doom. I always love the emperor. I love Limburger. Love him. He's and on he's on the same level. <laughs> More of a comedic level. Uh, I mean, I don't know how many jokes Darth Vader cracked uh, or the Emperor, but um, but yeah, it's uh, they. All of this is in production right now. As is Robo Force uh, Wave Two. Um, I'll give you a little little sneak peek. This is Sentinel. This is the third generation proto for her. I'll nice. show you my uh, my favorite. This uh, this is my baby right here. Uh, she just had an he just had an arm fall off, but that's all right. It's a proto. Uh, this is Detonator, who normally has like these giant triangles sitting coming out with tons of guns. Uh, the the inspiration for him, and we did a real uh, redesign on him too. So he he was a much simpler. He was just called Cruel in the original Robo Force, but we. Uh, here, let me, if I'm not going to rate it, let me show you. This is the second generation proto, and this will this will give you a much more accurate. Woo! Oh. Uh, well, he just lost his rocket launcher. But that's what he oh, normally cool. looks like. It's just imagine five missiles sitting up here. Yeah. So he's 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 my baby. He's uh He's the one I'm betting on. I hope, I hope, and he comes with suction cups. Everybody asks, like, are you still doing the suction cups? Yes, we are doing the suction cups. And they're all in the cartoon. Like, so that's in production as well. That's the one we're doing with Iraq. Um, and uh, that should, fingers crossed, be coming out later this year. Uh, when, when I do these interviews, it's hard to ask a question because, you know, if, if, you're, if you're running things, it's like, how can you say what you like? without giving away you know what your strategy might be but are there any any brands um properties that you would want to make toys for that you like because you know you've been on a path of making the toys that made you so far so you know it's funny as you were setting up the question i was you know obviously trying to be a little polite in my old age i was waiting for you to finish the question but mm -hmm. i thought my aunt because i didn't know what it was going to be i thought my answer would be like dude i'll tell you anything but then when you finish the question, I'm like, oh, shit, I can't tell you that. Okay. So, yes. yes. Um, we are on a couple five and one yard lines uh, to continue to expand the nacelle verse. And if we get, we have two deals in particular that like, I mean, it's like I'm almost so energized about them. Like, it's like I, I've actually not because of fear, but because of excitement, mm -hmm. like losing a little bit of sleep that we might. And that's how I felt about biker mice um, and, and also sectors. Like it, it's like, these were so important to me as a kid. Right. That it It's just the fact that we're able to be a part of putting this together. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Well, um, I'm going to take a stab at it. Judging from the themes tonight, I think you have a sports license. <laughs> yeah, Don Mattingly. Don Mattingly. We're doing a line. We're doing a line of all Don Mattingly's. Oh. I don't even know who that is. There was a kid I went to junior high school with who would not shut the <laughs> up about Don Mattingly. So, like, literally, it's a joke to my. I think he was a Yankee or a Met, if I had to guess. But I like, think so. I, I just literally memorized the name. So whenever we made fun of him, I'd always be like, "How's Don Mattingly this week?" Don Mattingly is currently a coach for the Toronto Blue Jays. Ooh. If you're a Simpsons fan, when Homer played for Mr. Burns' team, Mr. Burns kept telling him, Mattingly, shave those sideburns. Um, hey, um, thank you so much for hanging out today and letting, letting myself and everyone know about uh, all the awesome stuff that's coming out. Again, you have TV shows. You got comic books going on. Uh, you have you have merch out in Walmart already. Biker Mice is hitting. You have the Expanse Kickstarter Anything else? Right. We got uh, we got a lot of stuff tomorrow uh, at Walmart, but at other places too. Uh, we do this show called Icons Unearthed. Uh, we do it for Vice and Amazon. Uh, the Blu-ray comes out tomorrow, uh, and it's for season one, which was Star Wars. Um, for anybody who's a Star Wars fan, that season we got the first, and as of now, 
um, the only interview that Marsha Lucas ever did. We put as a Blu-ray extra, formerly known as a DVD extra, we put a we put the entire interview. So that's wow. one of the things I like to do because whenever we make anything, like I always say to myself, like, what would I want? Like, what right. would annoy me if it didn't happen? So like we do this show called The Center Seat, 55 Years of Star Trek. We got Leonard Nimoy's last interview. In the show, we only used about six or seven percent of the interview. Mm -hmm. So even just as like an amateur historian, I wanted the world to have the whole interview so anyone who cared could watch it. We did yeah. the same thing with Marsha Lucas. So that comes out tomorrow. We have the entire interview uh, as an extra. And it was a long interview. It was like a five-hour interview. Yeah, and you you won't oh, even wow. like if people are blown away with what we did use, you should see what we didn't use. Yeah, you. I mean, if you have that kind of stuff, it it seems crazy to to sit on it and not make it available for fans of yeah. that that video or those people. Yeah, that's my take. Everyone, go look for that tomorrow. Also, go check out Nacelle at Walmart and also the Expanse Kickstarter. Brian, thank you so much for uh, hanging out today. Thanks, Kevin. Good luck with your show. I'll, I'll post that at the end. Do it. at the end.